finally out the door and it's 12.45. 1 p.m. Finally got out the door. We started our day off a little bit rough with a very, very early fire alarm. But for now, we gotta focus on preparing for this upcoming Camino de Santiago that we are about to walk. We have a lot of shopping and a lot of things to pick up. We just realized that we're not really all that prepared for this thing. Building. Dancing house. It's the dancing house. It's so cool. I didn't know we were coming here. One of my favorite parts about running errands while we travel, especially in a place like Prague, is you get to sightsee while you're doing it unintentionally. Had no idea that going to Decathlon meant that we would run into the dancing house. It's no more than just a modern, curvy building, but it stands out. Our good friend and Camino Sherpa, Dan, told us that Decathlon is apparently the right place for us to shop for all this gear that we need. Go to Decathlon. Go to Decathlon. It's the best place. They have all the stuff you need and you won't spend a bunch of money. So we're getting a couple of silk liners because apparently silk is the only thing that bed bugs can attach to. Actually, we found these polyester liners that were like half the price, more than half the price. And so it turns out that they work just as good. Hopefully we don't regret this. So we're gonna go with these instead of silk liners. <laughs> oh, this right here is the, uh, the first of many steps of me becoming my dad. He always used to wear hats like this pretty much everywhere he went making sure no sun ever touched his precious skin. And now I totally understand why. If I'm being honest, this isn't really like the first step. This is just like the latest in a long series of steps. Okay, I think we've found everything we can get from here. <laughs> All we're missing now is the chapstick and laundry soap and other stuff that we probably won't find here. So far, big win for Decathlon though. We got pretty much everything we need. walk sort of on the west side of Prague and what I love most about this place is all the bike friendly paths and bike friendly everything around here. One of my favorite things about these bars is all of them have these doors. This big giant glass thing that turns into place. Check it out. So you can either choose between the bars built into the side of the canal or actually just the boats that are right over here. If you're looking for a nice walk, awesome. If you're looking for some good food, this is a great place to go. My favorite place that I always went to is just up here though, it's Kayak Beach Bar. Let's check it out. Our sleep sack, which is made out of polyester and hopefully should protect us from bed bugs. This is a water bottle carrier because we realized although the coat epoxy bags are really cool, they don't have a place for your water bottle. So I'm gonna hang this from there. Dersh's dad hat. Should I try it on? Okay. 
Do I look like your dad? <laughs> hmm. It's cord for hanging up our clothes when they're wet and they need to be dried. So, dry fit tees for me because I don't own any. Fashionable too. Soap. Josh's favorite purchase of the day, carabiner. You always end up needing carabiners. Another carabiner. Then an FFP2 mask for Jersh because he broke his. Vaseline for the feet. Lip balm with sunscreen, very important for the walk. Gotta protect them lips. And another yoga strap because I think we're convinced that it works. And that's it. What a great haul. So I think really to be ready for this thing, we need to end up getting rid of, or at least not bringing along most of the stuff that's in our packs. But I still think we're gonna end up pretty heavy because we have to bring all this camera gear and our laptops to make sure that we can edit the videos and everything that goes along with them. More electronics certainly than most people would bring on a pilgrimage. Let's see what it looks like with just the stuff that we're gonna bring with on the Camino. Got a lot of stuff there, huh? Everything out. The best way to pack is to get everything out of your pack and then start all over. I have my little staging area over here and that's all my crap on the bed. Ooh, wish I could bring my paint set with me but unfortunately I don't think it's a necessity. Poncho, definitely coming with. Extra SD cards for the camera, definitely coming with. Money, definitely coming with. Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately not coming with. Big bag of 100 cables. Probably not coming with. No! <laughs> okay, I think this is everything that I'm bringing with. Now, all the stuff I'm not bringing with is in this pile over here. Just all those nicety items, like, you know, it makes me sad to leave behind the Nintendo Switch and the, uh, lots of cables and the everything cables. else. <laughs> I've got three shirts, three pairs of underwear, three pairs of socks. I've got, uh, this pair of shorts plus the one that I'm wearing. I've got my flip-flops, got my shoes, i got my cables and stuff all for charging the camera and for charging my phone. I got the laptop charger, the laptop itself, my hat, a couple plastic bags in case I need them, paracord for when we need to dry our clothes, uh, the poncho, sunglasses, and the sleep liner for anti-bed bug technology. But I think that's it. So this is everything. Let's see how it packs up. Let's see how heavy it is. a dry fit shirt, a pair of leggings, I'm wearing one pair of pants that I'm going to be wearing as well, one tank top, a pair of shorts, and then I've got the water bottle holder. I've got some toiletries here which include chapstick, hand sanitizer, soap, Vaseline. We're also bringing a little bit of body wash and a little bit of shampoo just in case some of the places that we're staying don't have any, and of course some sunscreen. Travel adapter, a couple of carabiners, First aid kit, really important to bring. A pair of sunglasses, a few pair of underwear, and a couple of sports bras. Sleep sack. In here is just a bag of different things like ibuprofen, some Tylenol, some allergy medications, things that we might need on the road. And of course, some cables in here. So things like my charger for my phone, our external hard drive where we put all our videos on for some of the vlogs. Poncho. And then, of course, the heaviest item. I think this is the chonker. But we're bringing our laptops and our camera gear so that way we can continue to vlog and continue to edit as we go. 
I don't know how much time we'll actually have as we're walking and as we're meeting people and sleeping and just, you know, resting for the next days. Time to pack her up and see how it goes. lighter oh yeah oh what a difference I guess is all my extra stuff basically anything unnecessary We're trusting his advice and here we go. Oh, sorry, that's, sorry, that's your line. Here we go. <laughs> all we're missing now is some uh, pharmacy, all, all we're missing. Mm. Okay, hold on. oh, I just broke it. Did I break it? No, that's just how it's supposed to work. Jeez. My let's see what this looks like. Let's see what this looks like. Just the stuff we're gonna, let's see what it looks like to just bring the stuff that we're gonna bring with. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like to just. Um. Also, this soap is good for dishwashing, for hair washing, for clothes washing, for all the things, apparently. How do we know? I don't know, because we can't read this. I think it's like an extra four feet long. Useful. <laughs> or yoga. Yeah, if you're doing yoga, I'm sure it's great. Every scissors is right handed. I can't cut. You want me to do it? You did it! <laughs> wow! Charger for... Bleh. Our external hard drive. Hi, kitty! What do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs>